He's a video blogger and political activist with more than half a million followers on Twitter. Omar Abdulaziz is also a Saudi dissident. Living in exile in Canada, he's spoken out for a long time against the Saudi government, especially its use of Twitter trolls to silence criticism. Now he says he's been warned he may not be safe. I received a call from the Canadian Federal Police who said, we have intelligence information that there is a serious intention of targeting you. Is it a killing attempt or kidnapping attempt? We don't know. So be cautious and take precautions. I told them I am happy, because if it has reached the level of killing or kidnapping me, it means I am doing my job well. Omar Abdulaziz was studying in Canada, but his scholarship was cancelled after he criticised the Saudi government in 2014. He was also a friend of Jamal Khashoggi, a fellow Saudi exile and Washington Post journalist. Khashoggi was killed in the Saudi consulate in Istanbul in 2018. Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman denied any knowledge of the plot to kill Khashoggi, but says he bears responsibility for the assassination. This latest threat against Abdulaziz is seen as part of a pattern of intimidation. It's evident that Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman tolerates no criticism and no dissent and is willing to go to great length to silence that dissent. We will see continued pressure on dissidents or critical voices in the kingdom itself, as well as members of families of critical voices who are outside of the country. Abdelaziz was warned in 2018 by researchers at the University of Toronto that his phone had been hacked by a network associated with Saudi Arabia. The relationship of the Canadian government led by Justin Trudeau with Saudi Arabia has been cool since 2018, since they criticised the kingdom's crackdown on dissent. It's also home to more than one exile, including the teenager Rahaf Mohammed, who was given asylum in Canada last year after fleeing Saudi Arabia and being detained in Thailand. Exiles who continue to speak out, but like others elsewhere, still feel themselves in the crosshairs of the Saudi regime. Francis Collings, TRT World.